Today is Monday, 2nd of May, 2022, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today is True Praise and Worship. Our theme scripture is taken from Philippians 3 verse 3, and it says, For we are the circumcision which worship God in the Spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. Hallelujah. The Church of Jesus Christ has come of age, Pastor begins. Some of the things the Lord tolerated in the past, even though they didn't make much spiritual sense, are now being corrected. This is because he's perfecting the church for the coming of the Lord. For example, true worship and true praise in the house of God. Many don't understand what it is. Some think that when they dance themselves high in church, they are really praising and worshiping God. But dancing in the flesh is neither praise nor worship. What is praise and what is worship? Pastor says, worship is the recognition and appreciation of the reality, blessings, character and greatness of God. This recognition and appreciation we express in prayer, sacrifice and service. In the New Testament, we offer spiritual sacrifices called praise according to Hebrews 13 verse 15, 1 Peter 2 verse 5, and Psalm 69, 30 to 31. Hallelujah. Oh, hence, praise is an expression of worship. When we praise God, we are worshiping Him. When you say, Lord, you are good, you are kind, gracious and loving, you've blessed me, you are righteous, etc. Pastor says you're defining, recognizing, and appreciating his character and his works. Praise is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to God, according to Hebrews 13 verse 15. So, in worship or praise, you are saying something to God thankfully. This profuse expression of appreciation of his character and personality in words of thanksgiving should be from the heart. That is the spirit, not the flesh. Ooh, glory to God. The dancing that most people do in many churches is in the flesh. That may have its place outside the church. In the New Testament, you don't dance in the flesh to worship God. Dancing in the flesh is based on the beat of the music. When the beat changes, the dance changes. True? If you are inspired to dance, the dance may not even synchronize or follow the beat of the drums. In such situations, you'll find yourself jumping spinning rejoicing in and from your spirit glory to god we are the true circumcision who worship god in the spirit rejoice in christ jesus and have no confidence in the flesh that we can find in philippians 3 verse 3 pastor concludes thank you lord for your word to us today okay let's take a prayer now from the bottom of our hearts please say after me gracious heavenly father I worship you today for your love, kindness and grace manifested in my life. You are great and greatly to be praised. I extol your greatness and worship your holy name for there is none like you. Your kingdom is forever. Your reign is everlasting. You are the only true and wise God. To you be all glory, honor, majesty, dominion, and praise forever and ever. Amen. All right, for further study, please read Psalm 47, 67, Psalm 69, 30 to 31, and Hebrews 13, verse 15 of the Amplified Classic. We trust that you have been blessed by today's broadcast. If you are not yet born again, we invite you to make Jesus the Lord of your life by saying this prayer. Mean it with all your heart and God will hear you. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I believe God raised him from the dead and he is alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. 
and by my faith in his name, the name of Jesus, I receive remission of sins for my soul. I receive eternal life into my heart. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you for giving me a new life. I am born again. I am a child of God now. Thank you, Lord. Amen. If you have just said this prayer, congratulations. You are now a child of God.